Yo guys, before you get into the video today, if you could go and check out my second channel by Max Anton, which is content like this. Three, two, one. Oh my god, it's coming in! It's coming in! This is a US regular. Okay, right? they look ten times bigger than us. You want to go the next size up? This is the US large. Gush! Look at how you look at that. How, what, this is why American people are fat at the end of the day. Now guys, if you like that content, I'm starting to upload more of that. I did take a break because of CSAR and work and things like that, which you guys do know. But guys, make sure to go and subscribe to it. Tons of content is going to be coming soon. A couple of videos a week just to change it up a bit and add something else to the channel. So guys, make sure to go and check it out. The link will be down below and also it should be probably around here somewhere. But guys, let's get back into the video. Yo guys, what's going on and welcome back to my Rainbow Six Siege video and as you've seen by the title today, this is going to be talking about new skins and other stuff coming to Rainbow Six Siege soon and first of all, let's start off with the Year of the Ox. So when it comes to Chinese New Year, every year if you didn't know is a different year based on the animal, there's tons of histories if you want to go learn about it, search up, it's really interesting, but Rainbow Six Siege always releases skin based on what year it is and this year it is the Year of the Ox, so this will be coming out for Operation Neon Dawn. So guys, here on screen, this is the skin, and it is going to be universal for one, but I believe this is on Jaeger's gun, and it looks amazing in my opinion. I love the kind of red, the kind of jade green on them, with the gold as well, and then also, it is, seems to be an attachment with that skin, the same as like the handle, which is really nice to see. And um, I like the white magazine, that's something unusual, we don't normally see that, and it's just different, but I think this skin universally, is going to be amazing. I think it'll look great on other guns. Or oh, hopefully it should be university. And it will look really, really cool. I love the little details of the gold. It's not all there, but some places it is. The handle, in my opinion, could have been changed. But I really do like this kind of green and red feel going across it. That red is kind of like a... Almost it's like a stone or like a really precious stone on it. And it's kind of like a pinky with different shades with it. And it really does go well with that kind of jade green. And all the kind of different textures and the pattern across it. Looks really cool. In my opinion, I don't see the ox part of it. I can't really see if there is an ox on it at all. But perhaps they should have an ox keychain. But I really do think that is a really nice skin. And I think a lot of people will buy it. And it will probably cost around fifteen to 25000 right now. Maybe you might be able to get an R6 credits. But I'm not entirely sure. Now the next things we want to talk about is... Rip plane basically should presidential plane be getting a rework the map was fantastic back in the day yes it could be argued that it was very attacking orientated because when you look at it from a defender's perspective you had windows around you all you needed really was a glass to go through those windows and just kind of focus on them and it was also very tight and compact so the rooms that were really commonly defended was the middle one which i believe was a presidential suite and downstairs in kind of the luggage area but still Overall, the map was amazing. Like there was tons of stuff. It was different, in my opinion. If Rome succeed and they want to, people want to bring it back, they need to do a rework. Now, you got to think, change the plane up so much more. You have tons of things that you could do with it. Maybe reduce the windows, block off the windows so you can have glass. But rework the presidential plane. I think it will be amazing if you could do it. And I think a lot of people agree because Presidential Pain, such an OG map, needs to be brought back. And I do think overall that if they did bring it back, many people will go back in love with the game. But they need to rework it on a good level. Now, like I said earlier, bring some of the windows closed, change some of the furniture, change some of the room styles. Keep downstairs quite how much it was with the luggage and things like that. Because it's really cool. It's kind of like a maze. And I think that's really cool. The hiding spots makes you more alert when you're playing the game. Now, many people might disagree that Presidential Plane was an awful map, but I just think because it's so OG that you need to bring it back. And some of the reworks I've done in the past, like Hereford Base and Oregon, which people didn't really like, I personally like the new Oregon. People are saying that it shouldn't get reworked and it should be left, but I think they should rework Presidential Plane after the rework border, put it into ranked, see how it does go, put it on test servers, and I think if they did it correctly and did it really cool in a nice design, maybe put like the third floor a bit more better because last time the third floor was very empty. Make it like a proper president's plane and it'd be really cool. And yeah, that's my opinion. Guys, let me know what you do think about it. But apart from that, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video today. Make sure to go and check out my second channel as well. Leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, and until next time, see ya.